Hello designers and welcome back to another video. Today we will be concentrating on Affinity Designer for beginners. Now this tutorial is all about making a Halloween pumpkin. It should be really easy to follow along with me and we're going to be going through some of the really easy tools using shapes, not going too in depth and it should be very easy for you to make this with my guidance. Okay if you are following along with me I'll just show you my document setup up here. And it's just a basic square, 72 DPI and color. It's going to be RGB. I haven't messed around with anything else there. And I've also got my snapping turned on, which is going to help when snapping together objects or aligning things. Here they are. I've got quite a lot turned on. Uh, we won't really need to look too far into that today because it's a really simple tutorial. OK, let's make this pumpkin. So head on over to the tools panel and select the ellipse tool. Head to the center of your document. And I'm just kind of hovering over here. You can see it's lined up here. So I'm just going to click and drag, but I'm also going to keep my finger on command to keep it centered. And I'm going to make it about, yeah, about this big. As it's a pumpkin, we're going to want to choose a, an orange color. So over here in the color tab, I'm just going to select down around here somewhere, make it slightly lighter. There it is. We've got our first piece. It looks like an egg at the moment. Um, okay, now hit V, which is going to switch it to your move tool. Uh, it's up here. You can see the little V at the end. That's your shortcut. And most of them have them. So you can try and learn them that way. Now we want to duplicate this. So I can either press Command J to duplicate it like that. And you can see in the layers panel, we've got another one. Or if I just press back, Command Z, I can also keep my finger on Command, click and drag outwards. I have my duplicate here. All right, let's change the color of that to something slightly darker. Yeah, that's slightly darker there. And you can see it's, um, it's on top of the original egg. So I'm just going to go to the layers panel. I'm going to click and drag it underneath. And now we can see it's underneath that. Now we're going to want to duplicate one more time. So command click drag outwards. And I'm going to make it slightly darker again. Around there. And here's the egg we've just drawn. Just click and drag that. Make sure it's on the bottom layer. OK, so I'm just going to play around with this. Maybe move it a little bit closer and this one a little bit closer again. Now these two layers, the last ones we've drawn, this one and this one, we're going to want to duplicate these. So I'm going to select both of these. So select one and keep your finger on shift and select the other one. Now press Command and J. That's uh, just duplicated them. If I just drag it out here, you can see they're duplicated. And we're going to want to flip these around. So up on your transform tools here, we're just going to click on this one, flip horizontal. Now that's done. I'm just going to click and drag. You can see where the snappings are coming in useful now, can't you? And I'm going to have it about. Yeah, I'll probably have it around here. That's fine. I'm happy with that. So to keep things nice and clean and tidy, just going to head to my layers panel and I'm going to select all of these. So I select one of them, hold down shift, select the last one and press command G. And that has added them into a group and you can name them. Pumpkin. Oops, spell that wrong. Pumpkin. Okay, there it is. Okay, what else is on a pumpkin? Um, usually it is a, there's a little stalk at the top. It's a green one and it goes up and to the right, it kind of bends over. So what I'm going to do, actually, I'm just going to select this and just drag it down a little bit more. OK, let's make that stalk, shall we? So I'll start off by selecting my ellipse tool again, which is M. You could just press M. And I'm also going to choose a kind of green color here. So over in the colors tab, there we go. I'll just have it like that for now. And 
I want to draw behind this pumpkin, so I'm just going to go up to the insertion tools and I'm going to click this one here, insert behind the selection. So now I'll just click and drag out. You can see it's drawing behind, maybe to around about here. I'm going to select V again to my move tool and just going to move it to around about here. Maybe I'll drag it up a little bit more there. Yeah. I think I'll make that slightly darker green, that one. Okay, I'm happy with that. Next thing I want to do is convert this shape to curves so we can play around with it a little bit more. So you can see up here in the contextual toolbar, I could just select convert to curves. Okay, this is now a curve, which means we can play around with the nodes. So you can press the shortcut or head on over. This is the node tool. A. So let's just press A. Okay, now we can see the nodes. I'm going to select the middle node and I'm just going to drag it down slightly. And I'm also going to drag this up a little bit and same with this side here. Maybe I can drag that down a little bit more. Okay, now we want to create that stalk I was talking about. So let's head on over to the rectangle tool. I'll select that. I'm just going to click and drag some kind of stalk like this, maybe. Yeah, all right, like this. And I'm going to grab one of the these handles here. You can see the arrows going left to right. It means I can twist it to the side here, rotate it around. And now I'm going to select the move tool again, which is V. And I'm just going to put it round about the middle here. Now let's convert that to curves too. So just click on convert to curves and select A on the keyboard so we can see the nodes. I'm just going to drag this in slightly like that. And, and I'm just going to go, you see when you hover around the side of one of these lines, you can see the, the kind of twirly line here. Just going to select, I'm just going to click and drag outwards. And I'm going to do the same for the other side here. Okay, I'll just make it a little bit fatter at the bottom here. And let's just go in a little bit more, make it a bit slimmer. Okay, it's looking a bit blocky, so we want to round off the corner slightly. Um, and I also want it to be rounded off down here. So I'm going to select my move tool again, which is V. And you can see the two layers here. We're going to add them together. So I'm going to select both of them like I did before. Shift and click. So both of them are selected. And I'm going to make this one shape. So I'm going to head on up to the geometry tools and I'm going to select this one here, which is add. I'm going to click that. And now you can see in the layers panel, those two layers are now one. So it's looking blocky. How are we going to smooth off the sides? Well, over in the tools panel again, we've got the corner tool, which is really cool. I'm going to click on this one and I'll start off with this one here. When you head on over to the node, you can see there's a little um, kind of semicircle here, a quarter of a circle. Uh, we can start playing around with that with the corner tool. So just click and drag and you can see making a nice curved line here. I'll do the same with this one here too. That looks nice. Okay, and with these two here, I'm gonna just gonna try and do both of them at exactly the same time. So I'm just gonna click and drag, which is selecting both nodes. And I'm gonna click and drag in a bit like that. Let's see if it's working. Not so well. Okay, I'll just click off, select that one and do it a little bit more. Okay, that's great. And all right, now I'm gonna bake the corners because I don't think I need to make any more changes and um, you just do it up here. So once you're on the corner tool, you'll see in the contextual toolbar, baked corners. I'll just select that and now you can see they're all set in, well, they're all baked in. Okay, let's zoom out a bit, see what we have. Looking pretty good. Okay, I'm going to select the move tool again, V. Here it is, and we're gonna need some eyes, we're gonna need a nose, and we're gonna need a mouth. 
let's start off with the eyes um, and I want to draw this so I'm going to select this one here and I want to make sure the eyes draw on top of this so I'm going to select under the insertion tools insert at the top of the layer so I'm going to click that and I'm going to head on over to the tools panel and I'm going to select a triangle shape so if you hover over this you can see there's a little triangle in the corner there which means there's more options so there's the triangle tool I'm going to select that and now I'm just going to draw a triangle there we go and I'm going to hold on to this node here and I'm just going to twist it around so it's like that slightly evil eye I think here and let's make it black so head on over to the colorless let's make it black head on over to the color tab and just swing that over there to black okay I will select the move tool now that's V I'm going to start playing around with the shape so I, if I'm over here on the side if I just go up a little bit from this node you can see these two arrows going left and right I'm going to click and drag that so it's a little bit squished I'm just going to play around with this shape until I'm happy. So I'm thinking it looks evil enough. Yeah, I'm pretty much happy with that. And just going to move it over to the side here. What we want is to have some kind of, because uh, pumpkins are carved and they have a kind of like 3D kind of effect to them. So if you carve in, you might see a little bit of the pumpkin inside here. Um, so I'm actually going to make this. Um, I'll just make it yellow for now maybe a orange a light orange so there we go I'm happy with that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this shape so I'm going to press command J and I'm going to make you can see in the layers layers panel that I have two shapes I'm going to make the top one that I've just created black there we go and now I'm going to stick the black triangle within the uh, yellow triangle I'm going to clip it in here so select the black one and click and hold and drag down and to the right okay you can't really see any changes that's happened so far but if I head over to the actual shape and start moving it around you can see I can move the uh, the black triangle around it's been clipped inside the triangle so I think I will have it around about here. Okay, let's zoom out and see what we've got so far. Okay, good. We've got the right eye. Um, now I'm going to want to copy that. So I'm just going to press command and drag across. And I'm going to head on up to transform and flip horizontal. There we go, we've got two eyes now. All right, let's draw that nose. So again, we're going to use the triangle tool again. So here's the triangle tool. And I'm just going to click and drag. Click and drag out maybe about here. I'm going to press on the V, which is the move tool again. And I want to convert this one to curves to uh, change it slightly, make it slightly cooler. So press convert to curves, press A, we can go on the node tool, which is up here. Let's zoom in and I'm just going to select the middle, add a node. I'm going to drag that upwards. And again, um, I'm going to make this that same yellow color as this one. We're going to do that thing again. So I'm going to click on the dripper tool up here in the colors tab. Select that and I'm going to head on over to that color there and press on this little circle here. And again, we're going to duplicate this layer here. So command J, going to make that black again. There it is. And we're going to do the same again. Click drag down and to the right on the layers panel. And now press V so you're on the move tool and you can just drag this around however you wish. Maybe a bit like that for this one the nose okay good that is our nose complete okay we need the mouth now so let's head to this shape again and click and hold see what options we have 
and I'm going to use the crescent tool. So right now I've still got this um, black triangle selected. So I'm just going to click on this little arrow, close that down and just select this one, this layer here. So when we draw, um, when we draw our shape, it will be on top of all of these layers. So, okay, let's just click and drag. There we go. Got our smile here. I'm just going to flip that around. So transform tool up here, rotate anti-clockwise. And if you just, I'll zoom in, you can see there's these little red dots here, these little red nodes. Uh, this allows us to manipulate this shape uh, slightly. Let's make it maybe a little bit more of a curvature here. Okay. Okay. Press the V to use the move tool. And let's place this. Okay, let's zoom out slightly. I'll place it in the center here. I think I want a slightly bigger mouth. So I'm just going to click on this um, node over here. I'm going to press Command and, and click and drag outwards. And that will drag it out from either side. Nice wide smile. And I will drag up from the top here. Make it slightly thicker. And I'll just drag it up a little bit more here. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. He needs some teeth. So um, let's give him some teeth. Again, we're going to use the triangle tool. So with the triangle tool selected, I'm going to add some teeth in here, some sharp ones, I think. So I'm just going to click and drag. I'll make this white so we can see what we're going to do here. Okay, press V again, back on the move tool. Let's zoom in and see. That's too long, that tooth. Or is it? I don't know. Okay, that's the first one done. I'll duplicate that, uh, but I'll just press Command J and drag it out. Add another tooth here. Click and drag down here. Let's flip this around. Flip vertical from the transform tools up there. I'll make this one slightly bigger, make him a little bit goofy. And I'll do another one over here in the corner. Now, if you want to make it slightly smaller without it um, ruining the uh, shape of your original shape of the triangle, just uh, keep your finger on shift and you can drag in and out and it will stay in uh, proportion. So let's make a smaller one here. And I'll give him another one down here, I think. Okay, one more. Flip that. Okay, that's the last tooth, I promise. There it is, okay. We have all our teeth now. Um, we're going to want to cut all of these shapes. We're going to cut into this black smile here, uh, cut all of these teeth into it. So we're going to head to the layers panel and I'm, here's all of our teeth here where it says triangle. I'm going to select all of them plus the crescent, which is our mouth. So I'm going to hold down shift as the top one is selected and click. Okay, we're, all of them are selected. Now we're going to do the geometry tools again, and I'm going to press subtract. Okay, now you can see, if I just click off of there, that it kind of looks like his teeth now, how it might be. Um, but again, we need to uh, we need to show some kind of three-dimensional effect on it. So we're going to do the same we did with the eyes and the nose here. So I'm going to select that smile, and I'm going to select the color again. We can just use the uh, dropper tool again and just make sure we've got the right color there. Okay, good, we have. Let's um, let's duplicate this again. So Command J and let's make it black. And again, we'll drag down, clip it inside of there, inside of the mouth. I'll just click and drag to see what works for me. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, let's zoom in here. 
as you can see, um, it's not actually going to be like that. It's going to be a bit more three-dimensional. If you were to carve into a pumpkin, there wouldn't be this uh, these lines here, would there? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the node tool, which is A. I'm just going to select it here. And I'm going to create some more nodes and just join up these, these uh, parts here. So let's zoom in here. I'll just click anywhere. Click on that one. I'm just going to drag it up. And because I've got my snapping tools on, this is where they come useful. It's snapping to the, the uh, shape geometry of that, uh, that one there. Okay, and I'm just going to do that. Where else do we need to do that? Oh, over here. So I'll do the same here. Create a node, click, drag. There we go. Bit more three-dimensional, isn't it? It's not perfect, but uh, there we go. Okay, so we have our pumpkin and usually it'll probably be on a black background you can create whatever you want now that you have this um, hopefully you found this tutorial useful and using uh, all the simple shape tools and um, various parts of the affinity designer program uh, i find sometimes myself using these uh, forgetting to use these tools when there is the actual easy option of just using the geometry or insertion or the transform tools uh, but they're all there at your disposal. So thanks again and happy Halloween. And if it's not Halloween when you're watching this, I hope you like pumpkins.